Okay, it's Monday. Let's do a CSS battle. Oh, what have we got? We have an elaborate shape. Semi semi elaborate shape. Uh, is this a symmetrical shape? <sighs> My inclination on ones like this is to use two elements that are stacked, one of which is a flip of the second one. So what's that? That's P. So a paragraph, and it's a transform scale y of minus 1. Now, we can't tell that yet, but I assure you it's true. OK. So uh, the background is that color. And the background of this is that. Looks like 0 is our initial uh, margin. And the height is probably something like, so uh, we could use border on the body, uh, do we want to? Why not? That'll, uh, or do we want to use border on the element? Maybe. Where can we put, uh, uh, actually no, uh, we're gonna do the border on the element. So let's, so, okay. Let's just do a margin of zero. And then for this element, um, border is solid red. Uh, in order to need to set a margin of zero on this guy, let's say butt right up against each other, we think. And then the widths on that are. It'll be three numbers, 0, 20, 40. And the question is how to handle It's close. <laughs> So our height is wrong, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 80, 85 maybe, and then the border of this is 50, 50, 55 maybe, getting close. Then that margin so let's see zero <clears throat> ah so I have failed to account for that background. So I think this border is a mistake. So I'm going to go back to what, was, what I was doing before, which was 0, 20, and a background of red on this body. And ooh, yeah, the background is red on the body. And then... Spitballing.
Uh, let's set the margins at zero just because we're getting that extra black line there and I don't like it. So what have I done wrong? I feel like something has gone wrong here. <laughs> um, all right. I find myself very irritated by this one. Uh, all right, I hate everything. Let's start with a blank. Let's let's just approach it as though we were only using the body. This is my go-to of. Uh, gradient that begins in red and then goes to transparent <clears throat> starts at zero zero and is 380 pixels wide so that's a, li a linear gradient that repeats at this point, and that's fine. And then, how about a regular linear gradient that begins transparent and is red and then is transparent. And then it's red again. And then it's transparent again. Uh, and don't forget your commas, because that's actually what makes things work. Uh, 80 pixels is what we said that height was. Nope, that's not what we said it was. Pixel. So we're basically building a gradient piece by piece. So those are the pieces. Those, that's our start. So that's two gradients. One goes side to side and one goes up and down. Uh, and we know that this middle one is going to cover. So next, uh, we're going to do our finish as a conic gradient. It's going to be from 90 degrees red and then like so and then we gotta put that guy so uh, just to be crystal clear because it is gets confusing we're gonna, we're gonna use incorrect colors so that I can see what I'm doing And we're going to add a no repeat. And we're going to say zero, zero. So we got to make it wide enough that we get it, see it in our diff. Two 
265 and tall enough that we see it in the diff. Two thirty five, and then we need an at from ninety degrees at. We would like to use percentages if we can, and so the vertical is where we want that for three. So if, and then once we hit the repeat, it should just flow. So let's replace these color, the yellow with <coughs> white, or the off-white, and the pink with the red. <clears throat> and then we need to adjust slightly. Forty-nine, nope, fifty-one, and then uh, twenty-eight and seven. Twenty-eight. Don't like that line. So. All right, that is the shape and it's three gradients. Is it 100%? I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. We hit 100%. Uh, hemming and hawing with borders and ultimately I'm a bigger fan of doing things uh, with gradients anyway. Um, I do suspect that there would be a way to do this with grids, uh, with a nice grid, uh, potentially with, yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it, but apparently when I'm speed running it, or attempting a speed run, uh, this is what, how, I don't even know how many minutes this is, um, you know, it, it's a little trickier. Once again, the joy of these is <laughs> that that they're uh, they're very much an improvisation, um, and I I tend to go toward what works for me and what I feel in the moment. All right, have a good day. Thanks a lot.